Simon is now going to demonstrate uh, nasal rinsing, which is a really great way you can help yourself every day. Um, it's important to use boiled tap water. Uh, so he's now filling his bottle to the line. Boiled, cooled. Yes, cooled. We don't want to use scald the inside of your nose. And then to that, he's going to add the sachet. Uh, this is um, just uh, common salt and bicarbonate of soda. Mince, rinsed up, mixed up in a packet. And you can make your own mix if you can look, look that up on the internet. So he's added the packet. And then he's going to give it a good shake. And now he's going to uh, take a deep breath <laughs> and insert one side, one nostril. There it goes, comes out the other side. One good squeeze is about half the bottle. And then the other side. And then you get a tissue and blow your nose. And now you're nice and clean. If you have any water left in the bottle, tip it out, get rid of it, because there are bacteria in there now, because there's been backsplash from your nose. So make sure that you rinse it out, then give it a good rinse, and uh, turn it upside down. Now some of these uh, nasal rinse bottles come with a kind of docking station, so you can tip them upside down in between uses so that they drain out properly. Another great way to disinfect your nasal rinse bottle is to put about a tablespoon of water inside and stick it in the microwave. Uh, this is going to make the bottle really soft. Um, it won't melt it, but I wouldn't put it in for two minutes. That probably would melt the bottle. Uh, but uh, microwaving it for like 30 seconds so that it really heats up, steam builds up on the inside, and then make sure that you, once that's done, that you tip it upside down in the, in the little um, docking station and let it drip during the day.